people believe they can communicate with horses, that they can understand them. It's often that close relationship which is described in myths, such as the story of Pegasus. Pegasus was born at the end of the world, the dark place where Medusa lived. Medusa was the hideous snake-headed monster whose gaze could turn a man to stone. She was finally beheaded by brave Perseus, who protected himself from her eyes with a brightly polished shield that showed him where Medusa lay. From the pool of her blood rose the winged horse, Pegasus. And it was on Pegasus that Perseus came to the aid of Andromeda, the Ethiopian princess famed for her beauty. A sea monster had chained Andromeda to a rock. Perseus spurred the winged horse downwards and flew at the monster and beheaded it. Then he rescued the beautiful Andromeda and as they flew up into the heavens, Perseus fell in love. Nature has never combined horse and bird, so something new and inspiring was created in Pegasus, a majestic fantasy of flight. One of the most famous mythical creatures of ancient Greece was the centaur, half horse, half man. Myths of hybrids of man and beast are not uncommon and perhaps allowed the ancients to examine what it means to be human. The difference between man and beast is made vivid by a hybrid of the two. There was once a god, Kronos, who'd fallen madly in love with a nymph named Philera. He thought her the most beautiful, the most playful of all the nymphs he'd seen. So, to pursue his affections, without his wife Rhea discovering the affair, he turned himself into a horse and won her over. When Philera gave birth to their offspring, she was distraught at the child's strange form, and she abandoned him. The child, Chiron, was a centaur. In those days, centaurs were said to be wild, barbarous creatures. They belonged to nature and not to civilization. But because he was the son of a god, Chiron was a rare exception. He had been granted immortality. The god Apollo came to tutor him, and as time went on, he grew up to be a master musician, a profound scholar, and a wise prophet. He embodied the power and energy of the horse, tempered by the human arts of civilization. When he was fully grown, the gods sent their children to Chiron to be educated, and many Greek heroes like Jason and Achilles were taught by him. He tutored Heracles, the warrior, in the disciplines of restraint and thoughtfulness to balance the ferocity required for war. Then, at the height of his powers, Chiron took Heracles on his first hunting trip. They became separated from each other. Young Heracles was terribly excited by the thought of his first kill. And mistaking Chiron for a stag, he let loose a fatal arrow. In agony, Chiron longed for death and release from the torment of his wound. He appealed to Zeus, and the great god answered that if Chiron gave up his claim to eternal life on earth, he could live on in the heavens as a constellation, Sagittarius. <laughs> 